How's it going everybody and welcome back to another episode of Gamer Wayne Woodwork. In this episode I have this Xbox, what used to be an Xbox 360 sign and I bought it off eBay like five or six years ago. Um, had it shipped to me, uh, got it on my lunch break one day, went back to work. By the time I got home the kids had already broken the 360 part of it. Um, which left just this Xbox part and uh, some wiring and stuff like that. Um, I ended up buying another Xbox 360 sign and just putting this one off to the side. But today I'm going to see if I can make just a Xbox sign uh, for it. I don't even know if it works anymore so I guess that's going to be the first step is seeing if this thing even still works. The back part has this nice side as well, and I might try to do something with that later on, but right now I'm just going to see if I can get this Xbox sign working, mount it on a base, and uh, do something with it that way. Let's get to it. So I'm going to be very careful of this live wire here. I don't really know what it goes to or why it was even open because I didn't take any electrical connections off this. Um, this is really weird how this is. We'll figure that out. It looks like the parts that hold the Xbox sign that clamp it down to the backboard or rivet it on. So I'm going to have to drill those out and replace them with screws. Um, yeah, it's definitely going to be an interesting process. Here we go. Got to watch that wire. Oh, I saw a little flash. A little pull string down here. I see it lighting up, but it won't stay lit. So this may be a quick video or no video at all. Got it unplugged and it's got just some regular Phillips head screwdrivers on the plastic piece. I'm just going to take those off and, and see if I can see something in there. Now this should come off clean and clear. I think I could definitely do something with this. One little mark on it. Not bad for just sitting in the garage for years, getting kicked over, being in the way. And this is the electrical box right here. I'm thinking that loose wire has something to do with it in the front. It should connect the circuit. So the power goes into here, comes out here, right? Another wire that connects. Oh. Ah. I'm not sure if this is going to fix it, but I'm going to try to connect these real quick. Twist them together. It is unplugged, right? Twist them together. And hopefully that makes it light up. I don't know. I might make a really big spark or something. All right, I got it plugged in. It didn't, it didn't light green this time. Oh yeah, guys, gotta watch that wire. The Xbox part is still working, so that's really good. I'm just gonna have to get uh, some wire nuts, um, connect that together, and yeah, we're gonna have a nice sign, I think. So now that the first big step is out of the way, which is making sure it works. Um, there's all these little clips that I'm gonna uh, try to drill out because they're riveted in. And I'll use these same clips um, and screw them into a, a backboard and <clears throat> make a small box. Because there's a, gotta watch that wire. There's a box in the back here um, with the pull string. That's what turns the sign on and off. Um, so I'll have to mount this inside of a box 
um, and this will be the outside of it here. And like I said, I'll just screw these uh, clips down to a piece of wood and mount the sign that way. And then later on, I might try to mount some LEDs right here where that clear plastic piece goes over and make another lighted sign out of it. The first thing I'm gonna do is see if I can get the actual neon out before removing the clip so I'm not drilling around the fragile neon. A lot of these clips already seem to be broken. Okay, I might have to cut the wires. All right, that was easy enough. Untwist these wires here that I twisted together to make it work. These things are fragile. Okay, that's the bottom part that's connected to the box. So I'm definitely gonna have to cut the wire back here somehow uh, and reconnect it after I make the box. And here's my Xbox Neon. I'm gonna set it aside safely. I'll clean this up later um, before we mount it up. Now I'm just gonna find a drill bit that's slightly larger than the heads of the rivets that they're mounted to. We'll get those drilled out. It makes me a lot more comfortable drilling around it now that it's not so fragile. That's it, came right out. Yeah, these things come right out. But the rivets stay in them. Instead of just guessing where I want to mount the actual clips that hold the neon, I'm going to get two pieces of paper, tape them together, put them over where the old clips went, and take a pencil and kind of scribble over them and find out exactly where the original mount holes were. And then uh, I'll put this on the new piece of wood that it's going to be mounted to, and I'll just mark out uh, where those clips go. By scribbling over them, I could see their imprint, and now I know exactly where the original clamps were mounted. So I'll just put this on the new piece of wood, and I'll be able to mark out where all the clamps went. Now I just need to get the actual box off the back of this, which only looks like two screws. I'm going to switch to a smaller drill bit and see if I can get these little rivets out of the actual clips. Keep that rivet from spinning. Ah, oh, dang it. Got one of the rivets drilled out of the first clip here. So the key is to get it clamped in really good from the bottom side with some pliers and then drill out the top portion. Here we are. So I bought two one by four by six inch pieces of wood. And the idea is to make a frame that goes around the actual neon, mount a piece of wood on the inside of the frame uh, that covers the whole inside and then on one side, this will be the one by four by six. This will be the piece of wood that mounts on the inside. Then on the inside, on the back side of it, I can mount the box and then I'll cut a little round out uh, so you can actually pull the string. And then on the front side, I'll mount the Xbox Neon and that'll, uh, allow some frame around the neon to protect it from breaking a little bit. All right, now I'm just gonna cut out two nine inch boards and two 19 inch boards.
Now I'm just cutting out a seven and a half by 19 inch piece uh, for the inside center piece. This should fit right in the center. Now I'm just gonna take, and you know I like pocket holes, I'm gonna take and put pocket holes in everything and screw it up. Not screw up the piece, but you, you know what I mean. All right, I'm gonna try to keep all the pocket holes hidden. Um, so I'm gonna use B and C instead of A and C like I normally do to connect these pieces. And then the center piece um, will also have pocket holes drilled into it. So that should keep the piece sturdy together. Um, and that way all the pocket holes are hidden too in the front of the sign. I'm just gonna put the screws in for the bottom and side pieces. And I'm gonna use my rip fence to help me keep a 90 degree. Make this the front here. That's basically how the sign is gonna look, hopefully. Actually, I'm just gonna keep that in there. And I'm gonna screw in the back pieces. Nice. That's a nice fit. I like the way it's coming out so far. Better than I thought. Now I got my paper and the center piece out. I'm gonna try to center that up and put it in the best six spots. The two outer, two inner, and the other two outer. I'm gonna leave them a little loose. Well, actually, no, I'm not. Yeah, I'm gonna leave them a little loose so I know how to twist and turn them to be able to line up the sign the right way. I'm gonna mark which way is up and right. And I'm gonna trace around each one of these so I know exactly how it was sitting when I go to put it all back together. All right, now I'm just gonna take the top part off and put pocket holes in the center piece and temporarily mount that in there where it's gonna go. Now I'm just gonna take the piece after the holes are drilled. This is the bottom. And I'm gonna put it one and one eighth inch back. One and one eighth inch back temporarily. Now that this is one and one eighth inch back, I'm flipping around to the back side. Duh. All right, now that I got that screwed into place, I'm gonna mark out where I need to cut the bottom board out so that way you can reach up in there and pull the string. Just for reference, I'll mark the back of that board so I can cut up to that and not past it. Now that I got this screwed in, I put some marks seven inches from each side that'll allow you to be able to reach up and grab the pull string to turn the sign on and off. And now I'm just gonna take it apart, or the bottom off at least, and I'm gonna cut that, uh, cut that out um, so you can be able to reach up in there. I'm gonna have to remove that piece to be able to access the screws. And I'm just gonna mark those lines up that I made to know where to cut it out at. All right, and now we'll just get that piece mounted back up. This is the bottom where you pull the string and my lines on the front are pointing to this being the top. Not a big deal, I'll just have to uh, remount it the other way. 
But we all make mistakes. Here we go. This is seven inches from each side still on the back. So I'll just reline this up like so. All right, now we're in business. I'll just lay the Xbox sign on there and figure out where some holes need to be drilled um, towards the bottom for the wires. This one's going to be towards the top. Alright, now be able to run wires through there, no problem. I'm going to have to shorten this wire up and maybe use it to lengthen the other one. I don't know yet. We'll have to figure that part out. Now I'm just putting all these clips back in and I'm going to see where I need to, how to do all the wiring. All right, now I'm just gonna work on connecting the wires. I'm gonna have to shorten this one a little bit and shorten this one a little bit. I'll get them connected together, take off the front sign, and then uh, put on the top, paint it up, and put the sign back on and we'll be done. All right, now we'll just get the sign off, the top mounted up, get it sanded down and painted. It's a little warm. Last thing I need to do is uh, get a little slit drilled in here uh, for this cord to go through. All right, couple coats of black. We'll let that dry up. Pop the sign back on. Do the electrical work. Put some hangers on it, and we'll be done. Now I'm just putting the hangers on. All right, it's dry enough to start installing the sign. Actually, there's one more thing I need to do. When the 360 part broke, the cover, the same cover that's over here, uh, came off there. So I just need to make sure that's all secure before I put it back together. All right, got it mounted. Now I just gotta do this electrical work here in the back. Well, there it is, all complete. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe and I'll be bringing you more videos like this. Also make sure to leave a thumbs up for the Xbox sign. Until next time, I'm Gamer Wayne and thanks for watching.